Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is the Coconut Camera, and today I'm gonna to be creating some of my favorite photos from TikTok. So this is the first look I'm gonna recreate. It's just paper stars with some colored lighting. So I'm just using regular printer paper, and I'm gonna cut stars in these. And I'm gonna use a pink light bulb and one of these clamp lights. You can get these at the hardware store or from Amazon for about 10 bucks. You don't have to use a pink light bulb. You can use any color you want. You can even just use regular lighting, but I definitely liked the kind of colored effect in the original photo. Okay, so you can see behind me, I've started to hang my paper stars. And what's important about this is that you wanna make sure that they're at different heights and they're at different depths. So you can see I have a row of them on this front background stand and a row of them on this back background stand. And if you don't have background stands, you can obviously just hang them from the ceiling or something, but my ceiling is way too high to do that. So I am using actual photo backdrop stands. And then I'm gonna position myself in between the two. So mid shoot check in, what I'm finding is that a lot of these shots are coming out blurry. So I'm having to put my face really on the same level as the first row of stars. So that's just something to be aware of when you're taking pictures of yourself. Stop every few minutes and check things. So that brings us to look number two. So I'm just gonna use um, a CD and the light from my iPhone to create a rainbow effect. I've seen a million people do this, but I haven't done it yet, so I wouldn't jump on that train. Okay, so the first thing I notice shooting with the CD is that you wanna make sure that the room is really dark. This might be kind of obvious, but it's 7.30 and even the little bit of light, 7.30 p.m. and even the little bit of light coming through my windows is kind of messing up the shots. So I'm gonna close all the blinds and get this room really, really dark. Another tip for shooting this type of content is I put a mirror in front of the camera so I could kind of look at myself while I was posing. So you can see that there's a mirror and on top my camera is there. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I can um, position the light from the CD onto my face and be looking into the mirror while I'm taking the pictures. I hope that was fun to watch and I'm gonna go ahead and link to the original artist below. And if you end up recreating either of these looks, go ahead and DM me on Instagram or TikTok. Okay, bye, love you.